Hello everyone, this is your guy Rajat and welcome back to yet another video about building and optimizing websites and web services. In today's video, we are going to talk about an optional topic, but in today's age, it is getting more and more critical to employ this layer. And this layer is known as CDN or content delivery network so in today's video we are going to have a quick look at what a cdn can do for us and why should we use this layer in building and deploying our applications subscribe to rain studios youtube channel in order to learn more about software development also make sure to click the bell icon in order to be notified whenever a new content is available on the channel so when we build a website we know that it contains these blocks and pieces so at the back end we write some application logic which gets executed in a programming environment be it node.js or php or python so besides the application code our website has also got some images some HTML files, some CSS files and some JavaScript files for the front end part of our website and these files are static in nature which means that these files do not get changed that often and these files generally does not require any sort of processing before getting served. So our application code is the only dynamic part which requires an application server or a programming environment for getting compiled and served but these files are static in nature since these files are static we know that we can use any sort of web server to serve these files because these files do not require any sort of processing so a simple FTP or HTTP server can serve these files Whenever these files are changed, we can readily replace the updated files on these HTTP or FTP servers and then they can get served readily from those servers. So what a CDN does? CDN is actually a geographically distributed network of data centers. So your HTML, CSS, JavaScript and images files which are mostly static in nature are catched and replicated across the entire network of a CDN provider. So just like we have the normal web hosting providers, we have CDN providers. So they have the networks of servers distributed across the planet. So we can upload these static files on a CDN server and then it gets replicated to their data centers which are distributed across the planet. So what is the advantage of uploading these static files on a CDN server and then replicating these files across the network of CDN servers? See whenever somebody requests your website's content a geographically closer server will be chosen by this CDN network and the contents of these static files will be served from that location and since that server is very close to the user who is requesting the content of your website the request is going to be completed in a lesser amount of time for example let's suppose your application server or your main website is hosted in Tokyo and a user from Bangalore is requesting the content of your website. So it is more natural to serve him the content from the server which is somewhere nearby that Bangalore location. So that can be a server located in Mumbai, that can be a server located in Delhi. So those servers are going to respond faster and the user who is sitting in Bangalore is going to get his data faster and this is just simple physics at play because if a server is far away from the end user that server is going to take considerably longer than the server which is located very nearby 
to the end user so that is how cdn can actually help us in making the website faster a cdn network can be considered a global cache but you have to keep one thing in mind that caching is just one of the many strategies employed by a cdn network to optimize the content delivery of this static files now what are the advantages we have already talked about how a cdn network can make our content delivery faster then it can also help us in saving up some server cost because we know that application servers cost a lot of money when it comes to bandwidth so simply serving a static image file over the application server is going to cost us some considerable amount of money we can save all of that cost by employing a cheaper cdn server because cdn servers are comparatively cheaper than the application servers because they do not require any sort of processing before serving the files although they can employ strategies like compression and all to optimize the network transfer and the delivery but they certainly do not require any sort of dynamic processing like the application logic of your website one more advantage with employing cdn is these cdn networks use some cutting edge security measures in order to deliver the content so like there is a greater peace of mind when it comes to securing your resources as well now please note one thing that cdn can also be used for other types of static files like video files presentation files pdf files or audio files as well so it is not just about these html css javascript and image files other types of files can also be served over a cdn network so if you have followed this video in its entirety you by now must be having a working knowledge about what a cdn is and how you can actually employ a cdn network in order to make your websites faster in case you have employed a cdn in your recent project do not forget to share that project with the community in the comment section in case you are interested in building softwares and deploying products on cloud make sure you subscribe to this channel because on this channel we talk about such stuff on a weekly basis and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up in case you enjoyed the content this is your guy rajesh saxena signing off and i'll see you around